There we are. You're all going normal security now. Keep an eye on you. There anyway, now we can keep going. And that should be all normal risk. Okay, it is. And there we go. We just got loads of money, actually, from uh, doing that. We have uh, significantly more cells. Unfortunately, they're not building the uh, rooms or anything in there, which is a bit annoying. Uh, nice and clean, though. Yeah, those two areas, they're kind of ignoring. Same with the other side. It's a bit weird to look at, actually. I'm not too sure why they're ignoring it. Oh, wait, no, they're, they're coming up. Yeah, they're not They're not ignoring it now. Huh, okay. I should really, like, build the doors last, just so they don't have to keep going in and out. That's something that I need to work on later. In the, uh... In my, sort of, creative years, let's say. So we're gonna do this. I think this should work. We'll do the same on the other side. You know what? I don't think it will work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change that, actually. I'm going to go to the big pipes again. And I'm going to stop this selection right there. There we go. I think the water flow is going to be quicker. I think there's going to be, like, some clogging problems or something like that in the future that we'll have to deal with if we just make small pipes. Like, I think that's probably the reason why you don't want to use small pipes. Uh, well, the reason why you do want to use big pipes, which I guess also makes sense, but the other way around. Uh, because it sort of increases the flow, let's say it works out. Also, you've been in solitary for a long time. I think it's time that we uh, stop that now. I only put you in solitary for six hours and you're still in there. Solitary six. Oh, well. I think I put him in for six more hours. <laughs> yes. Okay. I put him in six more hours. Actually, save. Uh, Grand Theft Prison. There we are. Just save that in case it crashes or something. And the new prisoners are arriving. So, we're going to stop the... Uh... Oh, I'm trying to... S yeah, okay. All right. So, I'm going to stop the intake after we get those new guys. Uh, but they should all only be in the holding cells until we can actually uh, put a place for them. Uh, it's only locked down, though. There we are. New prisoners have arrived. Should be two trucks coming full. That's eight in that one. There should be a number six there. Okay. So here we go. Who do we have right here? That guy looks shady. But um, <laughs> Anyway, that was terrible. What did you do? Carjacking and torture? Okay. High risk. Maximum. He did torture. I mean, yeah, he did the sentence. He served 10 years, but he is capable of torture. I don't like that. Who's this guy? Aggravated burglary. 19 years. What the hell's aggravated burglary? Like, oh, he annoyed me when he when he took my stuff. And you got 19 years for that. He did torture and he got 10. Carjacking got 10. This justice system is weird. Aggravated vehicle theft. Other than vehicle theft. theft. I'm not too sure what the difference is there, to be honest. I've always got a biography. Convicted of possession of Class A Ding Dong Grand Lip. What's that? Larceny. My bad. I've never actually read that word before, I might add. Larceny. <laughs> That's the first time ever. Uh, badger baiting has a pregnant... Uh, has a pregnant fiancé. Will create gangs and cause hell for all those in authority. Sentenced to seven years for multiple crimes including aggravated uh, vehicle theft and carjacking. Okay then, so we can make gangs. We're gonna put you on hold for now. Ringo! 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 An amazing name. Uh, was arrested, arrested after... Mm, excuse me. Uh, after leading police on a drunken 88 mile per hour car chase in a stolen DeLorean <laughs> after the, the ensuing after the ensuing crash into a what's that say? A one hour photo lab. One hour photo lab. Does that say one hour photo lab? Uh, Ringo was heard saying roads. Well, we're going. We don't need roads. 
uh, Sin City is for rioting. Rioting? Okay, so apparently that's rioting. That doesn't make sense. They really do need to change this uh, system here. Convictions and biography do not match up. It's a bit weird. Uh, but yeah, he's okay. John Brown. Assault. Okay, that's fine. Carjacking. Um, robbery. Oh, he, he looks like a, a tough one. Um, driving under the influence. Death by dangerous driving. Arson. Bribery. Wow, this guy's a douche. Wait, how old is he? 58. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, he looks younger. <laughs> I'm just saying. They don't, like, portray wrinkles or age on this game. Uh, violent disorder, violent game, video game piracy, and rioting. <laughs> like the video game piracy. Two years. If I, I if I did a joke, I would have made that, like, 100 years or <laughs> something. Just as a joke for the devs. Um, possession, forgery, possession again, and carjacking. So no one really true, true serious people yet. I'm looking forward to seeing what the maximum security people actually do. But we do have a shady guy who is now maximum security. There we are. He's got his nice red jacket on now instead. And we are setting up the utilities for your cells, sirs. Don't worry. We will uh, have your accommodations ready for you. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, sir. You will be very well taken care of in the solitary confinement wards. There we are. We're going to have that all ready for them. They're coming off right now, being taken to their areas. That's one grand a day now. Fantastic. Loads of prisoners coming in. We get a decent amount of money now. There we are. These guys are still waiting. For some reason, we bring them in in trucks. I'm not too sure why. They should really come in like a school bus or something instead or well, I mean, it's not school bus, but I'm not too sure. I guess, you know, a big yellow bus of some form. And they're actually being taken to their their cells, which are currently under construction. Which isn't really what I want to do right now. It's lockdown time, though. And what does the schedule tell us? It tells us that it's nearly free time. Two hours lockdown and then two hours eat yard. And that should work out fairly well. I need to change the uh, schedule a little bit. Uh, mostly... Prison policy. Hmm, interesting. That's that's very cool to see. Mental health, I think, is something that I need to unlock, though. So we will need a psychiatrist to tell us how everyone is feeling. Because at the moment, we don't know. We have no idea. The health ward, though, I feel pretty good about this. We've got it right here. The doctor's not needing needed right now. But I feel like eventually they are going to be needed. Also, we need to put more space in here. Because we do have more people. So we need a table. Merv, what are you doing under there? You're adorable. You really are. <laughs> okay. Um, so we'll need more t tables and chairs. So we'll get that sorted out. There we are. They'll bring some of those in. And it looks like all the prisoners have been given their own cells now. We're just sorting out the piping. These guys are sort of talking talking to the engineers like, Hey, here's it. Why? I mean, I thought he was Mexican for a second then. Or some sort of Spanish, you know, it could be Portuguese, it could be anything. Um, you know, anything like that at all, even though, yeah, hey, S.A., I'm not too sure. Uh, might be referring to someone that is Mexican. Uh, I don't know. I'm being a little bit sort of harsh here, though. I'm not just sure if this is racist or not. I do apologize if it is, though. If you're offended, then please call my hotline. Uh, you have been offended, lol. Uh, something like that. I'm not too sure. Why are they going in through the um, medical ward? I have no idea. I don't want them to do that. Because this gives them that... If that's becoming routine, then that means they're going to always come through here and just start stabbing people as they go by. Like, you know, Jack the Hat is over there sleeping in his bed, and then Rippy the Ripper, or Shady the Shader, just starts stabbing him while he's walking through, and the, the guard's been paid to do it somehow. You know, I don't want that to happen. It looks like they can eat on the other side as well. We can eat on fruit and ever said. But they don't really do it. I'm not too sure how to get them to do it. These guys, though, are not getting their food, though. I think we need another chef. We need another chef. And we need another cooker. And another fridge. I'm 
not too sure which way this goes. I guess it goes this way. And the same with the cooker. It goes that way. And this is going to need, like, direct power as well. That'll work out. And we'll just put one going along here. There we go, another table. There we are. They didn't all get their food, which is unfortunate. Mental health is nearly done. It's yard time, though. We keep solitary open for some reason. I like that, actually. They get to see how shitty it is in solitary. It's so boring. See, that's the problem there. Solitary is only boring. Who the hell are you, sir? That mustache is incredible. Mark Ward, the mustache of car theftness and possession to supply. Um, wait, that doesn't say that. I can't read it because there's a line through it. I can't read that at all. I am very bad at reading. Uh, you probably should have realized that by now. Um, but yeah. Now, it looks like they can go on either side of these tables, but I'm not too sure how to do it. I've had so much trouble in the past when it comes to actually making these uh, sort of uh, benches line up with the tables on both sides. It only seems to do it on one side. So I think I'm just going to keep it that way. I feel good, though. Lots of space. It's like 4, 8, 8. Yeah, yeah that works out. That adds up. We've got 20 prisoners, though. These cells are not yet done. Uh, but they're all outside, and I think they probably have their own cells all put up together, and that lot's so just working out. You, sir, are just jumping up and down. Recreation. We've got a common room right here. Don't know why you don't use that. Go in here. Go in the common room. What are these doors to you? They're not shut. Go in there. Have a good time. He's jumping up and down. He's going to cause a riot. Get him out of here. Search his shell. I bet he's on drugs. Search him. So we're searching his cell. What's he got in there? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's a network! Order an immediate search of all cells. Do it! What have you found? Phone booth? What? You found something. Found spoons and shit. Okay, so what we need to do is get rid of this tunnel network. I nearly escaped as well. That was a close one. Right, um, so remove this tunnel. And remove the tunnel. There we are. Now, keep looking. You're underway. You're under search. We found more stuff. There's so much. They've, like, kept spoons and forks and everything. The bastards. I feel good, though. This search is required. Okay. Anyone? Uh, these two... These two are going into solitary. They're going to be punished for six hours. These two, because they've got bloody holes in their sinks. In <laughs> their sinks. Go to solitary. Oh, well, no. They immediately get taken to solitary if they're found with anything. That's interesting. That guy's quite injured. I'm going to go in the medical ward. We found shears! Spoon, fork, and shears. We found garden shears. How the hell? How do we get shears? This ain't good. What kind of prison is this? We can barely keep anything away from anyone. Still, though, I feel kind of awesome that there's a shakedown underway. I'm not going to lie. This game's pretty great when it comes to its prison simulation. Anything else? Drugs? I knew someone was on drugs. <laughs> oh, wow. We're finding so much. Well, then. We've cleared out most of the prison.
We just need more room in solitary, really. These guys need to get in here and actually clear out this uh, tunnel. Oh, what's that? That's not looking good. I think we need more capacitors. Okay, let's build another capacitor. There we go. I think energy is uh, just getting a little bit too high there. Okay, then. And also get rid of the hole there, please. That would help us out. Oh, they are. They're removing that tunnel. Okay. I'm not too sure how they can make a tunnel so quickly with a spoon. Hmm. I think we need better flooring. I think that might be what's happening here. We need, like, concrete flooring or something. Like, concrete floor. Yeah. I think that would work out for us. Let's make a concrete floor. Hmm, it looks like we can't do it, actually. Is it outdoor only? Indoor only, okay. Some of this isn't actually regarded as indoor. It's interesting. Tell you what, though. We'll do that. Uh, only wants to make it there. Very interesting. I'm not too sure why that's the case. See, this is indoor only. That's indoor only. But it's not actually going to make that indoor only. That's, yeah, that's fine. We'll make concrete tiles instead. That might decrease the chance of them actually building a hole in their cell. I'm not too sure. I kind of want to try it, though. It will be cool if it does. The cleaners are underway. They're all doing their own thing. These guys look pretty good right now. And we do have enough to get a psychologist. Awesome. Now we can see what these guys are thinking. The psychologist has his own room. For some reason, they always go for the one that's not their room. Right, okay. I like making desks. I, I'm not going to lie. I like making it office rooms. They look pretty cool. There we go. And a uh, filing cabinet right there. We kind of need, need to make a, a bathroom or something for these people. Like a bath and shower, like for these guys. I'm curious if that would actually be a thing. Like, do we need to do that? There's no toilet anywhere else other than those places. Like, we could make a random toilet here. I feel like this place is going to be something else, though. Yeah, we could make, like, an expansion here. Make, like, a toilet. Bugger it. Screw it! Why the hell not? And then what we'll do is we will uh, make this that, and we'll get rid of this object there. We don't need that there anymore. Actually, do we? I mean, it would be nice to have it there anyway. Might as well. And we could make this a storage for the kitchen, because we do kind of need that. Lots more space, though, I guess. We do, we do have more ingredients. What's this? I need to get rid of that. These guys are getting tired, but we do have a, uh, a staff room, which we do need to put a wooden floor on, I might add. It's much nicer to walk on a wooden floor. Like, this whole place needs a wooden floor, really, but we'll do that later on when we have a little bit more money. High priority right there. Now, having a bunch of concrete tiles isn't great, because they're probably going to use those uh, in some way or form. There we go, though. Concrete tiles are all over these cells now. Wait, what's that? The prisoner. Let's just double check, see if there's any dummies. The prisoner there, prisoner. Okay, we've got a prisoner, prisoner. Prisoner there, one right there. Wait, hey, what's that? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Awesome, that works out. That guy might be ill. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. These concrete tiles, though, should help us out a little bit. And I feel pretty good. This prison is, like, opening up. New opportunities are being created. Okay, loads of money. Well, income's fairly average right now, actually. I guess it's because we hired that psychiatrist. Um, it probably is just lowered a little bit. And we now have concrete tiling in the top part of the prison. We just need to do it with the lower part. And that should hopefully... Oh, crap. I forgot to take off prisoner intake. 
Wait, let's go ahead and do that. We are closed. There we are. We don't need more inmates at the moment. We can't really afford it. Uh, we do need to make a visitor's place, though. Now, we are going to take another grant, because we want to see what we can get. Let's check our wages, though. We haven't checked the finance. So, uh, we get a lot from a federal grant, standard prisoner grant, and uh, max sec prisoner grant. So, it looks like uh, we get more money, depending on... Hmm, I think we get more money based on how, sort of high they are in like if they're max security then we get like more money but it looks like we get 200 per maximum security prisoner and then we get sort of 100 or that lot roughly here and there based on them being yellow or being normal so i think low level must be federal grant and then standard prisoner grant must be the yellow one or the yet all standard prisoner grant is both of them not too sure but then we got the workman wages the guard wages the administrator wages the staff wages the food and and days without incident 1.1 days oh we get money for days without incident that's interesting that's a good uh, sort of push there towards getting what you need and then of course tax which is 30 percent of what we earn it's pretty high but you know it could be worse it could be 45 percent of a different tax bracket if we're like rich which is absurd <laughs> our net income though is 987 and by total uh, at the total at the moment we have made four grand throughout just earning, which is pretty cool. We've got all this stuff as well. Hmm, wow. We can actually sell this, can't we? Sell prison. So anyone will allow you to take the profits from this prison and start a new one. Wow, that's cool. Sell shares. Buy and sell shares. You can sell up to 50% of your prison as shares to outside investors. That's interesting. So you can sell and buy shares, okay, if you really do need money. Then there's programs, and here are the rest of the grants. So health and well-being, build a medical world, hire at least two doctors, hire a psychologist. Wow, we've got all that in the bag, don't we? So if we start that, we just need to hire one more doctor, and then we've got ten grand in the bank then and there. So there we go, I feel pretty good about that.